Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can issue credit memos to your customers for returned merchandise, discounts, and other types of credits. To issue a credit memo to one of your customers, you use the credit memos window. You can access this window by selecting tasks from the menu bar and then choosing the credit memos command. At the top of the credit memos window, use the customer ID drop down to select the customer to whom you are issuing the credit. Now leave the credit number field blank if you plan on printing the credit memo. Otherwise, simply fill in this field with the credit memo number that was assigned to this transaction. Now below the header area, you should see two different tabs into which you can enter the credit information. One is called Apply to Invoice Number, and the other is called Apply to Sales. You input the credit information into the Apply to Invoice Number tab if the customer selected has one or more current invoices to which you will apply the credit. Now, if you use this tab, then you must use the Apply to Invoice Number drop-down to select an invoice to apply the credit towards. Now, you use this in a situation when a customer returns merchandise and their invoice is still on file. Now, when you fill in the information on either tab, you'll need to enter the number of items returned and what item was returned. If the information is being applied to an invoice currently outstanding using the Apply to Invoice Number tab, then the information from the selected invoice will display. You will just enter the quantity and type of items that are returned. Now if the customer is using the Apply to Sales tab, which is used to give credits to customers that have no open invoices, you simply enter the items that are returned. Now if you selected the Apply to Sales tab when you're creating the credit memo for the customer, then the credit memo will appear within the Receipts window when you go to take payment from the customer for their next order. If you applied the credit to an actual invoice using the Apply to Invoice Number tab, then the amount due for the invoice will actually change, and when you go to the Receipts window and select to Apply to Invoices, the amount of the invoice should change to reflect the applied credit. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.